Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land plays the Binding of Isaac. Uh, Repentance, not Afterbirth Plus, I might add. Um, we we had some great runs on stream yesterday. I'd encourage you to to check those out. And you know, I mean, like, look, we got this whole thing going on. All right, you might say, "NL, what the heck's going on with this?" I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I have no idea. I I don't really know. Um, but we'll figure it out, okay? <laughs> we'll figure it out together. <laughs> um, I feel like we should try to do some, some alt path stuff. Man, am I really gonna go straight back to, to the Bethany mines? What do we need? Boss Rush Bethany? Hush Bethany? Um, Void Bethany? I don't know, like, honestly, I feel weird that we keep playing the same character over and over, but... Uh, I, I don't think I should worry about it so much. N3HHSJJW. Um, I don't think I should worry about it so much just because, like, I mean, you, I want to see the new character. It's, it's as simple as that. Just sneak down there. Okay, grab one of these. We're going to take these. You know why I'm, I'm taking pills more often? I, uh, HP up, tears down, except actually... It, I don't think it did. Well, I mean, I guess it did give us HP up now that I think about it. I'm excited and shot speed up. <laughs> uh, whiff. Well, the reason uh, I was going to say that I, I take more uh, pills now is because, like, these runs are tough. So I feel like we honestly might as well swing for the fences. You know, there's an argument to be made about risk versus reward for sure. But early on on a run, I, I, I'd i rather go high risk, you know, because the, the actual risk is that you have to restart and who cares, you know? You just restart and then, uh, you know, you've lost two seconds of, of time or something like that. Two seconds of real time. Three minutes of play time. Ever tell you about the time me and my college roommate got in like a, an actually heated argument about whether Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, God rest him, in Spider-Man 1, whether he says, Hey, Freak Show! You're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes! Three minutes of... And then... I know in my heart of hearts that he says playtime. But my roommate was like, he says three minutes of me time. And then I swear to God, okay? So I, like, we watched the clip. It might not even have been on YouTube back in the day. Like, we might have actually... Like, I think I had the DVD. Probably popped it into, like, my PS2 and did scene select to find the right spot. But, um... He clearly makes a plosive with his mouth. He goes, three minutes of play time. But my roommate... It would, like a Berenstein Bears Mandela effect. It was like, nah, he says me time. So we said, you know what? Let's go to IMDB and check the, the script. Uh, spin the wind, let it rip. It's a Beyblade. Is this awesome? I, I, it has a zero charge, which seems amazing. Or I guess like a... Maybe it is a one-room charge? Yeah, it's probably a one-room charge. Um, what's happening? What What the heck? <laughs> I have no idea what to think about that. When I stop holding the button, I lose all of my fires. While I'm holding the button, I keep them, but there's a huge downside. Um, the the huge downside is I I lose control, like I, I, I can't walk right. <laughs> and then uh, also I, I have to do damage just by running into enemies. So I actually think this is kind of like a not good situation right now. Now remember, we're trying to do boss rush. So let's just keep that in mind. Boss rush, boss rush, bo bo boss. It's a real word, boss rush. Okay. Anyway, on IMDB, you know, it's all user submitted anyway, right? So like on IMDB, the, uh, the notable quote section was like, oh yeah, he says me time. I was like, did you write this? Because, like, it, it so obviously served his case. I'm, like, still kind of baffled to this day. Because um, he doesn't say me time. Like, you can watch his mouth. He says play time. Anyway, we're, like... I wouldn't say we're friends. We're, like, acquaintances. Not, no falling out, really. Just, you know, it's been a long time. Yo, actually, this is sick. All right, now I figured it out. Just do when you pop it, don't run. Walk slowly. And then you just pop it, and then start shooting. 
the shots won't last forever, but the charge comes back in really quick. So it's like, it's a notable, like, damage burst every now and then. And I, considering that it probably scales with our own damage, I actually think this is probably a, a pretty sick combination here. So remember, we are not doing alt paths. You know, are we even going to be able to make boss rush? I'm, I'm fairly skeptical <laughs> right now. We're, I don't know if we're behind schedule. I always forget what I set my, uh, like, my internal... Oh, oh, no, no, no. My internal, like, threshold ad. I thought it was, like, six minutes for the first two floors. So maybe we're doing fine. I got to tell you, this is actually, like, really good. Especially, like, at, as our own... Uh, damage increases like it should only get better and better like look at that damage output dude that's sick okay we did get a deal with the angel which is a little surprising I'll take the toothpicks deal with the angel gives us Lazarus rags we I don't think we've killed no we haven't killed mega Satan so if you'll allow me I'm gonna take the opportunity to try at least to, to get uh, mega Satan handled here by the way baby's here hello baby Hello. She's having a good morning. Wouldn't you say so, baby? Let, let's move on. I, we could go to the curse room, but I'm, I'm going to try to save some time. Hey, baby. And it's, uh, you know, it's an exciting day over at our household here. It's Monday. Yeah, freaking Monday, baby. Have you seen this video? <laughs> Of the guy, it, it's a TikTok of this guy eating uh, steak on a Monday, and he just, he only says like six words. He says the F word, steak, Monday, and baby. Yeah, that's right. Frickin' Monday, baby. Ribeye, beans, mashed potatoes, frick. Monday, baby. Frickin' steak, Monday, baby. Frick. Anyway, highly recommend it. You can find it for yourself. Um, search the F word <clears throat> with spaces between the letters. Um, no, not with spaces between the letters. And then Monday Steak Baby. I, I promise you within the first three or four results, you're going to find it. So you might be inquisitive here. You might say, NL, why aren't you using your fires as like prodigious orbitals? I'm not even going to bring up the fact that obviously these guys explode. You're, 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 you know, in good faith, you're probably talking about on a normal room. Um, the, the fires die super quickly on touch, so I, I don't think it's the right play. And actually, I feel like, um, we're, we're doing super well with the... Nope. <laughs> I know we get different wisps for that, but you, you really gotta offer me something a little better than that when we got this, this Beyblade item, which, which seems to do insanely well. It is an orbital as well, so I was just testing, like, the damage. The damage seems terrible, to be quite honest with you. So we'll we'll just continue with business as usual. This must be an yeah, it's an XL floor. But yeah, I got some good news this morning. Uh, my my parents uh, got approved for a, a vaccine date, which is like tomorrow, which is pretty awesome. <clears throat> Still gonna be a ways to go, obviously for uh, for Kate and myself, but very nice for sure. Now here's a question for you. Sorry, I'm a little phlegmed up again. I think we're gonna take shielded tears. Do our wisps also get shielded tears? No, but I, I still think shielded tears is like so useful um, for uh, uh, just for any form of defense. And I, I don't mind the holy. I mean, I don't know. Speed up is pretty good too. What do we really need? Like if I'm if I'm crunching the numbers, what do we need to beat boss rush? It's been a while since I've I've really made boss rush a priority. Obviously. Um, I think what I would say is that HP is is really nice and and probably the best way for us to get something like that would be via like a little Chad or you know the the average red heart enjoyer. Oh wow. So yeah, I'm stoked for my mom and dad and means you know the, the hopefully the timeline to them being able to visit again and and you know see their uh, only grandchild, you know, will hopefully be a little bit truncated, which I, I'm sure, like, you know, it, it's, uh, I don't want to complain, really, but it's it's hard on, on Kate and myself, because, you know, over the pandemic, we, we haven't had access to 
you know, really the, the family support that a, a lot of people would get where they have nearby. And I'm sure this is a common story, but, you know, you got relatives living nearby that you can, you know, rely on to just be like, hey, come look after the baby for, oh, dude, little Chad, you know, uh, even an hour or something like that. So, you know, both of us can, like, take a, sh take a shower or something. Um, but also, like, it's, it's worse on my parents for sure, because I'm sure, like, I mean, it's not like I, I waited forever to have a kid, but, you know, my mom had started to get to the point where she was dropping hints, like, you know... I, I think we got a little time to explore here for, for Boss Rush. It wasn't like she... She was very respectful of, of whatever decision I was going to make, I'm sure, but... And I'm actually just going to walk over the, uh, this, because I can. Um... But she was like, you know, oh, you know, when do you think, like, if you were going to have kids, like, hypothetically, uh... You know, hey, you guys should have kids, just kidding on less, you know? Um, so, you know, she waited like a while. You know, I was 31 when we had uh, when we had our daughter. Uh, still not old, obviously, but you know. She, she had waited for a bit and then like, boom, you're looking for this, but this is like, a, it's COVID. You know, she hasn't been able to do anything but really like, you know, teleconference. It's like grandparenting uh, distance. Distance grandparenting. There you go. The, you gotta work on the punchline a little bit, but so I'm stoked for them. You know, it's uh, and and also stoked for me because <laughs> you know now that they're they're crunching through the the age brackets. You know, it's they've only got another seventy eight percent of the population to go until they get to me. But I'm the you know it's not about me. I, I, I was trying to figure out a way to play it off as a punchline, but really, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. Um, and, and for everybody else, honestly, that's, that's getting their, getting their doses as well. Um, hey, baby. I'm gonna peep the shop, then we're gonna leave. Right now, I, I think we have a pretty good chance of beating Boss Rush. Which is great, because we don't have to beat Boss Rush yet, you know, we got two more floors before it really becomes uh, prudent. But I definitely think we'll succeed. And I'm just reminding myself of like all the things we have to unlock here, you know? There's there's so many. Hey, baby. There's so many things to unlock here. Like I got boss rushes, both new characters. Alt path, greedy, or greed and greedier mode is both new characters, although we did do greed already as Bethany. Like, we're gonna be here for a bit, man. We're gonna be here for a bit. I apologize for leaving the map up, by the way. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. Sorry, I'm just taking it down to the ASMR level right now, because the baby is... Because the baby's here? The baby's like, ooh, ooh. Okay, I don't know if these are good, but they're fun. These are punch bullets. What I like about them is they make a funny noise. They go a thwack thwack, which I think is uh, is humorous. I find it quite delightful. Forgot uh, spirit hearts like essentially could not be worth less at this point. Um, we might as well. We don't have a ton of time. That feels like a secret room to me. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about, baby. I'll go to 15 cents for now. We'll probably never come back. Like, I, I just because of the floor, like, uh, the, the curse on this floor is like the most annoying curse for me. Okay, we have a super, a super tinted rock. I mean, I, I feel really, oh, okay. Just don't, don't lose that deal with the devil if you can avoid it. It's very hard to keep the deal with the uh, devil percentages up there as Bethany, because you can never have spirit hearts, but. I don't think we're... I mean, we, we still have a, an angel chance. I don't know what dictates that, but we do still have an angel chance. By the way... Hold on, didn't I... Oh, I already blew that up. Yeah, um, that's how we got that chest. You don't lose your deal with the devil chance anymore. And this is something that's been pointed out, you know, numerous times. Um, but you don't lose your deal with the devil chance by self-inflicted uh, damage anymore. I don't know if that counts if you, like, accidentally blow yourself up with a bomb or something like that, but... Certainly self-sacrifice uh, rooms and curse rooms. Ragoo! But uh, what I was gonna say is, like, I really can't complain about, like, how the game has treated me as Bethany. I feel like every single time we've played as Bethany, we've gotten, like, a, a dominant uh, space bar item. Okay. Ragoo. 
How you doing, honey? You doing good? You had a great sleep. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare the baby. There goes our, our devil deal chance. Um, you had a great sleep last night? That's, uh... Oh, a little sneezy? I understand. I get the picture. Who, who? But yeah, I mean, that's the exciting part. Apart from that, it's a lot of like, you know, every day is pretty similar, but not in a bad way, you know? Like, uh, I really, I, I've, I've said it before, but like, this year has been like a year of, of real self realization for me. They're realizing that, like, I don't think I have seasonal affective disorder, but then, like, when the sun started coming out, or staying out later, thanks to daylight savings, I, I was like, uh, wait a minute, maybe I do? Because <laughs> I feel like, like, when I look back on my mood in the winter, I was like, man, I was, like, mighty grumpy. And then when people were like, why are you so grumpy? I was like, no, I'm not. You're grumpy. Now that, like, the sun's out longer and I'm able to actually get outside and, like, you know, take the occasional social distance walk, I'm like, dude, I feel amazing. I feel incredible. So it's pretty much what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wake up, drink some coffee, scrounge up some breakfast. I gotta tell you, though, you know, on the subject of food... Like, on the subject of memory, I just want to make sure we're still in a good time here. My grunty baby. Frog likes to hide. That was so flat. <laughs> You're flat. You got no talent. Rent the studio. You If you got talent, you can practice. Get a gig. An artist has respect for the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity. Who are you? you you're nothing. You're everything that's wrong with this world. I'm a NYU film graduate. Graduate of the San Francisco Academy of the Arts. I walked Bill, Bob Dylan down on stage in 1975. Who are you? Who are you? Sorry, I... There's no reason I should have that whole video memorized, but... Here we are. <laughs> Baby's like, oh no, I got one of those dads. I got a viral video, Dad. Have you seen this one? D D David after the dentist? <clears throat> Have you seen it? It's hilarious. Okay. Damage, please. No, 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 no. I refuse to be hit. I refuse to be hit. We needed at least to have the chance. I'm okay with the tears upgrade, obviously. We didn't, we didn't see our item room on this floor. Is that correct? I believe that's correct. Let's do it just a little more exploration, because we really are trying to make boss rush work. We're not tight for time. We're not tight for time. Hey, baby. Frog likes to hop, hop, hop. He jumps in the water. Duka -da -duka -da -duka. <clears throat> Splish. Splash. I got the... 909 a.m. on a Monday flim. Let me in, please. I think we have to leave. That's eraser, which does erase enemies, but like I, I think it could be a good fit. But I really don't want to lose Beyblade. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make like I don't know if we have the damage output to it, never mind. I think we're gonna win easily. <laughs> I don't want to make it seem like it's impossible. All I'm saying is, uh, as long as we make it to boss rush and we don't, like, hemorrhage damage for no reason, I think we're going to be fine. But I do wish I had, like, one cool tier effect. It would be nice if, like, I, I understand why they can't... Oh, Tomo, when the heck did you get in here? I understand they can't make all tier effects be inherited by the Wisps, otherwise, like, you know, you could- I mean, this run would look a lot different. Could be cool, though. Um, but, uh, it'd be nice to have, like, some kind of tier effect help that, uh, that did extra damage, or at least imparted, like, a status that made it easier to kill enemies. Just because, like, you know, 
it's a little, I don't want to say underwhelming, but like, it, it could be so much more whelming. Don't forget about the orbital place here, either. Hey, Tom. I mean, the, the best tier effect of all, the, here's the quote, uh, quotable, notable quotable from this episode. The best tier effect of all is damage. If you could just give me some of that, I'd be pretty stoked. Okay, like, Curse of the Tower, like, it shows up on every single run. I don't know what happened that, that made it so it shows up on every single run. I also feel like restock is actually, like, not um, that good anymore. They made it so things get more expensive on subsequent buys, or I, I forget. But either way, we're, we're, we're just donating and also trying to crank on our uh, deal with the devil and angel chance a little. I'm so stoked we actually have uh, our holy mantle still. I do have a question, though. Wait, if you choose not to go into boss rush when you get the first opportunity, that means boss rush remains closed to you. So we have to go to it. Okay, I got to let Tomo out of the office for a second, and then I'll be right back. Hey, baby. She flaps her big strong wings up, up, up. It's time to fly away. Okay, I think we're ready. We, we're only a little early. This is not how you use this item, for the record. Did not lose Holy Mantle. Dude, the damage output, I don't know what I'm complaining about. When we get to let it rip, like, it's, it's mighty good. Baby. I do wish it wasn't a Curse of Darkness. <laughs> I feel like I can't see anything. <laughs> so you can't, unless they've changed it, you have to go to Boss Rush first. You can't go... We should probably start taking the negative, by the way. Uh, Cursed Eye is kind of an interesting choice. Okay, these are all, like, pretty bad. But we have to take something. We definitely do not take Cursed Eye because we could teleport out. So what's the best option? I mean, I hate to say, I think the best option is some bombs. Yo, new boss rush music just dropped. Okay, remember, you got shielded tears. So what are we what are we trying to do on this run? Well, we're trying to live. This is going to be a marathon boss rush. This is my first boss rush in Repentance, by the way. We're it's a new era. Oh, honey. Boy, can I tell you? I'm going to start having to play this in the preview window just because, like, the gamma is higher in OBS. <laughs> How did we not get hit there? Baby. You know what I got to tell you this morning as well? I know people love the trash TV anecdote um, or anecdotes we found ourselves in. This morning, a show that I've talked about before, but has been like lost to the annals of history, was, was airing on TLC again. You know it's the TV graveyard when it's airing uh, at 8 a.m. on a Monday. But it's a TV show Kate and I watched a little bit of when, when she was pregnant called uh, I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant, where people like... Well, I mean, like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Every episode's, like, basically the same. It's like, I was, everything was good in life, and then my stomach hurt really bad, and I went to the hospital, and they were like, you're having a baby right now. Which I know it sounds unbelievable, and, you know, you're like, how could you possibly not know? I mean, that's, that's generally, I think, the, the reason the show's kind of entertaining, is you're like, how can you not know? But there are some where you're like, man... Like, the one the lady this morning, she was like... I, I know that these are not 100% effective, by the way. But she was, like, five months pregnant before she realized. And also, like, her husband had had a vasectomy. It was, like, the first episode where I was, like... I could actually... I put myself in this woman's shoes and I, like, can understand. On some of them, they're, like, literally, like, nine and a half months pregnant. And they're, like, I felt kicking, but I just thought it was, like, gas. And I'm, like, you... Come on. And the, the, what'll boggle your mind is that they have, like, four kids already. And you're like, you've been through this. And they're like, I kind of, it felt like I had a pregnancy, but I figured it was just like, you know, the, the rice and beans I ate. And I'm like, I don't think so. That doesn't compute for me. But then this lady was like, I mean, she was, 
she was, it seemed like she was doing everything pretty much by the book and oh my god did you that was not uh flatulence from the baby that was she just made like a, a serious mouth trumpet noise okay we should just stay cool a little bit here like it, it's kind of overwhelming right now to try to you know dodge all this stuff but we, we got a pretty good thing going here I think I underrated, e even when I realized it was good, I think I still underrated Let It Rip a little bit. Like, I don't know how this works without Book of Virtues. Like, I I, I bet it's not... Maybe maybe you become invincible to damage and you do... Oh, dude, when with Let It Rip, you do become invincible to damage. It turns you into a Beyblade. We just happen to have, like, a, a cool little inversion of it where we also can create, like, infinite wisps temporarily, but still... Okay, I, I, maybe we walked on creep there after we got Vincible. <clears throat> I don't know. So I'm, I'm also just trying to think. I hope our deal with the angels still open when we leave here, and it, it does look like we will be leaving here. Um, if that's the case, we can blow up the angel statue. Possibly also fight Mega Satan as Bethany. I don't know, like, this This might be the greatest run we could ever ask for. Plus, we get one item at the end of Boss Rush. Item on the way in wasn't all that in a bag of potato chips, but... People still say that, by the way. It's a very common phrase. You might be like, they don't say that. No, it's, it, it's exclusively a Vancouver phrase. It's too cool for the rest of the world. Dot com. Legu. Baby's been saying some more syllables as well. It's getting, like, prodigious. Like, she said a D the other day. I was losing my mind. She was like, booty. And I was like, what? What? You can't just drop that on us without any warning. Like, we got to get the video camera out. Baby. Baby. What? Once Boss Rush is done... Baby, we will go, we'll, we'll cure what ails you, okay? In the meantime, though, there's uh, 600 uh, billion bosses in the game, so it's gonna take us a little bit. Don't sweat it too much. Look at that damage output, man. So inspirational. I'm, com I'm coming close to dying here. I'm coming very close to dying here. Perhaps this, uh, for mercy, could be the final wave. How are you not dead? Both of you are, like, at zero HP. Baby, 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 baby. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. We, I, I see that we have a, a red heart. I'd like it. Thank you. Man, that red poop is a real kick in the teeth, too. Start, start dropping some bombs. You might need them. What's happening? Don't get hit again. Okay, we have... We have... <laughs> haunts. Regular haunts. We, we can survive this. Just be careful. Baby's crying, and I'm, I'm still getting headshots. Oh, my God. Okay, we got him. We got him. Now we just pay attention. Cross. Maybe blow up some of these so we can actually, like, see what's happening over here. Baby. Baby. We're just chilling for a second, okay, honey? I mean, I'll tell you, I haven't exactly played the, the finest game of Isaac here, but I'm also hoping that at some point uh, we <laughs> we're free. I feel like we've fought a lot of enemies. I, f I feel like I've done my part. No. Oh, you're going to explode in, in weird creep. Yeah. Save! Save! Baby, we did it! We did it! Okay, okay. Scissors. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Okay. We're out of here. We're out of here. Let's just see if we get to deal with the angel as well. How, how do you exit the room? How does one exit this room? Oh, just a little door right there. We do not have an angel room. Are my eyes broken? And I do want to make sure we get the... We get the red heart. Okay. Heading down to the next floor. Mission accomplished. We have unlocked Beth Beth's faith. Let's enjoy the rest of the run, but for now, I'm going to pause it and make sure the baby's okay. See you soon. All right, we are back with the with a placated baby. And uh, having accomplished the predominant goal we were looking for on this run. I still think that... 
I'm not utilizing um, let it rip to the best of its abilities. But it is, like, unbelievably strong even the way I'm using it. I mean, I, I, I almost think it's it's a choice, you know? Do you want to let it rip, run into enemies, probably crush them, you know, with the the damage from your, your, your fires and stuff like that at the risk of taking maybe some contact damage yourself? Or do you want to hang back and, like, you know, just passively kind of send them to the Shadow Realm, you know? Like, look at the the incredible Wisp damage we have, like... Thank you, thank you, finally. Um, I, I feel like, why risk it, right? Like, if we're gonna run into enemies, we're not gonna do it right now. We're gonna, uh, wait until at least we get some HP back. And the other thing I would say is, like, we, we still have the ability, and, and this is what Isaac's all about, you know? If you can get, like, a two-for-one deal, I knew it was coming, man. If you could get, like, a two-for-one deal, then that's the dream. So if we could beat Mega Satan on the same run where we were trying to get boss rush, like, I'd, I'd be loving life. I'm already loving life. Like, I feel like Bill Withers on Lovely Day. You know what I'm talking about? A lovely day. I can't, I, I don't have the VO2 max to hold the note. I barely have the VO2 max to, to hit a reasonable facsimile of the note. But suffice it to say, it captures the, the spirit of my mood. <laughs> anyway, I, I think we got a plan for this run. And, and a plan in Isaac is always a good thing. By the way, I appreciate everybody who's been watching the, uh, the streaming playlist. I, I'm not just trying to like promote the streaming playlist at the expense of the YouTube stuff. But um, I, I appreciate it because we, sometimes we have some zanier runs. You know, it's a different vibe, no doubt about it. Some people prefer it. Some people, you know, defer it. Um, but if you have been deferring it, um, you know, maybe give it a chance. Because, you know, we had that Bloody Mary run that was just like a, a complete meme. I was worried that people... Because, you know, I, I came up in a, a YouTube environment where, like... And it's still kind of like this to some extent. Like, if you ever make a mistake, people are like, why would he do that? <laughs> like, it was an intentional thing. So we basically... I mean, we deliberately threw, like two one runs away or more than two one runs away just to see if we could keep you know pushing the envelope and and I, I worried that you know the response to that episode would be people that are like this is ridiculous he's not taking it seriously but instead there was a large contingent of people who are like you know this is a different vibe from the rest of the Isaac episodes but this is like the funniest episode I think he's made and I was I was very thankful to to see that I appreciate that Okay, my goal for this run now... Okay, I think we're fine. Uh, you know, I've previously talked about Mega Satan. I've talked about Boss Rush. My new goal is to not have to do that room over again. And I think as a result of having found uh, the, the boss fight, we're probably looking pretty good. So we might just be in, like, you know, just play us out territory. But if we can get an Angel deal... It's all coming together. Okay, okay. First off, we got some HP. Secondly, baby's doing great. Thirdly, Tomo would like to enter the office. Fourthly, uh, I have ended up on top of my headphone cord. Okay, we're unwinding. Welcome, Tomo. Please enter the office. Doogie doo, doogie doogie doo. Do do do, doody doody doo. Squam, squam, squammy, squammy. Squammy, 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 doo doo doo. We, oh, I'm a happy, happy hippo. Let's play. I couldn't agree more, baby. Did we? Because I know, and it's crazy, like, this run was literally yesterday. At least for me, I don't know. I The episodes got slightly out of order because I accidentally uploaded, like, a duplicate episode once. Um, but didn't we have a Bethany run, like, super recently? Maybe it was even yesterday for y'all that I, I tried to do this exact same thing except with... Uh, the lamb instead of boss rush. I must have died on Mega Satan. I hope you'll forgive the the lack of memory. Like, it's mostly <laughs> due to the fact that I also played like, you know, ten runs on stream after that. So you know, it, it gets a little fuzzy. Okay, number one thing though, we we legitimately have like a forty nine percent chance to at least be able to fight Mega Satan, and we don't even have to do the whole. Uh, floor first either we can we can just send it 
I do wish we had a damage upgrade. Like, we're, we're shooting five shots a second, and we got incredible wisps. I just wish, like, we had more than 3.5 damage. I'm not really complaining. That hurts. You shouldn't have been, been hit on this room. I'm not really complaining, but I am kind of like... Like, come on, would it kill you? Just give me, like, a single damage upgrade? I just... I, I don't want to... I was... Okay, fine. Well, now that we've been hit, we should do the room. But I, I'm a little upset with myself. More than anything else, I'm upset with myself. Okay, these guys pay out with extremely annoying spiders. I think what you should do is just mash the space bar if they get close to you, because they did... Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the, the sound of the telltale piano in the background, but that, that's how you know the baby's having a, a, a pogged up morning. Dude. Thank you, thank you. Not not just for the kill there, but for the uh, the extra damage we got from the beams. I'm sorry, it's so hard to focus with this like the shrill baby song going on in the background. It's it's like it's a challenge, man. I mean, it's not like a. It's not like, you know, being in one of those, like, potato sack races or anything like that. You know, I, I really feel like, that, you know, John Mulaney has this joke about how, like, you know, he feels like media lied to him when he was a kid about how prevalent a concern quicksand would be when he was an adult. A very astute observation, Mr. Mulaney, I agree. I think you, you, you hit the nail on the head on that one. But I also, I don't know if this is like a 1950s and 60s America thing, but... I always thought when I got older, like, every weekend would be filled with, like, family picnics and, like, potato sack races and, like, the the three-legged race where you tie, you, you know, your leg to another person's leg and try to run and then you fall over and laugh. And, uh, you, the, the one, I've never done this one, the egg on the spoon. They give you the egg on a spoon and you gotta try to cross the finish line without breaking the egg. I feel like I've 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 really missed out on on that formative experience, man. Is that a thing that even happens? It, it, like show of hands. Oh, you okay, baby? She's okay. Show of hands. Have you ever experienced a, an egg on a spoon race? Or is that a, a vestige of an earlier time? I think we got to accept we are probably not going to fight Mega Satan unless we get Dad's key. Oh no. That that's a modestly upset baby. Baby, I just gotta press the space bar one more time. One in 250 chance of a deal with the angel? Mission failed. Mission failed unsuccessfully. Baby. Music time, baby. You hear that? Like, I can't remember the last time I, I posted up in a park. And had, like, a bunch of hot dogs. Somebody asked you, like, hey, do you want a hot dog or a burger? I gotta tell you, the hot dog versus burger conundrum is a very interesting one. I think about it fairly frequently. I'm not joking, either. I feel like a burger in a vacuum... Not a vacuum cleaner, but, like, the... Oh, did you see Big Brain? What the heck's going on there? Um... I feel like that's uh, a burger tends to be better than a hot dog. I don't think many people would disagree. Um, the flip side of that, though, is I feel like you can't evaluate it in a, vacu a vacuum. I have many more opportunities in, in my, you know, well, not since COVID, but, you know, in, in the pre-COVID world that, that still exists in my memory. Um, I had many more opportunities to eat a burger than to eat a hot dog. As a result, I think I find myself more likely to answer the question by saying that a, a hot dog is the dominant strategy. Especially by... The, uh, oh, the Eternal Heart we've already picked up. It's just a vestige there. Um, especially if it's not merely a hot dog, but is instead a... Uh, perhaps an all-beef sausage or like a Polski a Gorky, which now I'm realizing is a pickle. But, you know, like a Polish sausage or something like that. Um... A kielbasa, even. A kurobata, for example. I'm, I'm positing, I suppose, that, that the burger is better than... La la. 
The burger is better than the hot dog. But the increased scarcity of the hot dog versus the abundance of the hamburger elevates the sausage a little bit in the power rankings, you know? It's a, it's a supply and demand sort of thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do have a, I have a little bit of a theory about hot dogs, though, and I think people are going to take this as, as sacrilegious to some extent. Hot dogs, especially like, like bougie hot dogs, are kind of a little bit of a food trend right now. You know, we, we got a couple in Vancouver that are uh, quite popular. The most famous is Japa Dog. Like, it really took off, I guess, after the 2010 Olympics, which was admittedly before I lived here. But um, they're like Japanese-style hot dogs. They'll have, like, grated daikon radish on them or a little seaweed, Japanese mayonnaise. Or, you know, instead of a, a sausage, it'll be like a, a, like a pork cutlet or something like that. They're really good. A lot of people think, like, you know, oh, the hype is faded on Japa Dog here. I'm still 100% a believer, and their fries are, like, some of the best in the game. But we also have, like, a lot of uh, Korean hot dog places are taken off as well. But I kind of, I have a theory about hot dogs that, you know, I'm interested in the discourse, okay? As hot dog ingredients get more complicated, I actually believe, and I wish, this is aspirational for me, that more restaurants embrace the idea of encasing the dog and the toppings inside of a tube, you know, like a almost a corn dog style, instead of an open-faced bun. I'm not trying to say that the open-faced bun hasn't gotten the job done for, you know, 80 years. I'm merely suggesting that as people start putting more and more toppings on the top, like, I don't know how you eat it without all the toppings squeezing out of the top. I guess that's why they're called toppings, but... Yeah, get them, get them. <laughs> Flappy butterfly. Flap your big strong wings. Hop, up, up. It's time to fly away. Um, Dude, they should... Yeah, James Gunn has to do, like, a... Oh, come on. I even saw it. It was a mimic. It was clearly a mimic. James Gunn should do a trailer that has that song in it. Flappy butterfly. Well, that, that's not fair. James Gunn is not the... He's he's not minor key music guy. He, he's more like a Steely Dan guy, which I greatly respect. All right, apparently the corners are no longer necessarily safe. So we may actually die and come back as Lazarus here. Here we, here we go dying again. Maybe they're safe? I don't know. Maybe they're not always safe. The damage output, dude. It's just believe. <laughs> if they're not always safe, we got some real problems. Get him! That hurts me. That hurts me when you do that. Okay, at least we lived. I mean, it really doesn't matter if we just eat it right now. Because we're <laughs> we already accomplished what we wanted to, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't dislike the, the fancy hot dogs. I just want them, you know, to be a little bit more structurally secure. We'll definitely take lard. And then, what the heck is Golden Razor? Pain from game. It takes five cents. Oh, you know what? I bet it does damage to enemies, but it takes five cents. I, oh, it shoots. Okay, I have no, maybe it, it froze enemies. Is that what happened there? Either way, like, don't don't get me wrong, Let It Rip was crushing. But I think we can also at least give this a shot, right? Like, I don't know, these wisps actually seem substantially worse, and now they're gone. They do freeze enemies, so that, you know, there is that, but... I still want to win this run. I, I haven't lost that hunger. That's what we're talking about. That's that's still so much better. <laughs> I'm not a... Generally speaking, like, here's the deal, okay? When it comes to burgers, I'm very much not a, uh, you know, like, oh, you've got... You know, on, like, diners, drive-ins, and dives, they're like, we made a Juicy Lucy. We put a... Like, the cheese inside of the patty doesn't, you know, rankle me too much. I, I think that sounds cool, actually. I could I could consider getting down with it. But it's when they're like, and then we put a fried egg on top, and then we put like, you know, the buns are made out of grilled cheese. Like, it's a monument to excess. Really? I think I'm, I'm like a double cheeseburger 
single slice of onion, maybe a couple of strips of bacon, ketchup, ketchup, mustard, salt, and pepper uh, on a roll. Yes, sir. I, I admire the simpleness of the burgers. But as the burger gets more complicated, the odds of me ordering it goes down for certain. Hot dogs, I'm not sure yet. I have because you know what it is is the scarcity thing. I haven't eaten them enough to to know. We'll figure it out for ourselves over time. I mean, like there's gonna be. I I the food anecdotes are never gonna stop once I get that that Pfizer jab. Oh my god, I'll I'll just eat out of the dumpster just to taste something new. I can't wait, man. No more eating carnitas out of the instant pot over the sink like a rat. <laughs> we're go we're going to the moon, baby. I can make it. See, no fear. As long as you have no fear, nothing can harm you in this game. How did we get through this room? Excuse me. How did how did we blow open a door here or not kill every enemy? I don't know what happened. Maybe we Beybladed through the door. I didn't know they had that kind of power. Hi, Priestess again. That's fine. So increasingly looks like we're gonna win. This was like a really good run. I, I got no complaints. Sure, we died as Bethany, but like... Bethany walked so that Lazarus could run. And we really have no... Uh, like there's no negative consequences to that Bethany death because we got to keep Book of Virtues. I mean, we did go down to 1 HP. <laughs> Some people, I guess, a lesser Isaac player might describe that as a negative consequence, but not me. I'm trying to think of what we'll do next. I mean, we got to do, at, at some point, we got to do challenges and greed mode and stuff like that. But I feel like those are almost better suited to the streaming content. Um, you know, YouTube, we can get a little bit more into these these meaty runs and, and you know, not deprive you of some banter. Because some of the challenge runs are like six minutes long, probably. Some of them will take, you know, 20 attempts. And honestly, <laughs> with greed mode, I'm so bad at it. I feel like... You know, 24-hour tech support from, from a live chat is very advantageous for me. Then for a run like this, like, honestly, I, I'm realizing very quickly the differences between streaming Isaac and recording it. To get into banter, streaming is so much worse. You'd think it might be better because you would get prompts from chat, but, like, I glance over and, you know, like, I'm, I'm trying to go off on a rant and get some conversational momentum and, like... You know, 3,000 people are just so preoccupied that, like, there's a tinted rock back there, even though I have no bombs, that it just, it pulls you out, right? So these long, like, like kind of banter-driven runs, way more suited to YouTube. And then any run with, like, finicky mechanics, much more suited to Twitch. But I think I'm, I think I'm teasing apart the riddle of the Sphinx. I know more about streaming than I do about meat being between two pieces of bread, apparently. Well, I, I shouldn't insult my sandwich knowledge. I was mainly trying to insinuate, you know, hot dogs and uh, hamburgers. Hamburger, definitely a sandwich. Hot dog, you know, that's kind of like the prototypical argument. I'd prefer not to get into it, quite frankly. Okay. We're at the end. Anytime we fight, like, a single enemy that doesn't move much is pretty simple. It's only when we got, like, a well, beams of light coming down from heaven is pretty annoying. Heaven? Heaven? Is that you? Are you walking on metal? Head eyes? I'm dead? So we should win here. It's a nice run, and again, like, more than anything else, I'm just stoked. Like, we, uh... We picked up some extra Bethany knowledge, learned a little bit about a space bar item, and... In particular, you know, all the Bethany runs seemed, like, super unique. At least for now. Just because of the, you know, the variance you get. The 200 IQ move right there. He's playing 6D chess. Teleport to the exact same spot you were already standing. It's called a fake out, sweetheart. You wouldn't get it. All right. Very, very nice, very productive run. For now, thanks for watching. Let's make sure they, they counted it. They did indeed. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we, we got next. I don't know. We'll figure it out. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. And of course, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. Subscribe on YouTube if you want to see more. I'm sure you've noticed there's a ton of Isaac. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. See ya!